beautiful people! My name is Nistaku, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Among Us. Last thing we did, I we interviewed TJ, and we found out that the fake snow was Lily, who is Holly's troll sister. Yeah, all sweet. And this also, whole thing is complete bullshit. Leaves us right where we need to be. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. <laughs> the darts were on the board last time we were here. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Big B. That was so nice and helpful. Oh, they're not gonna like that Come snow's on, here. Holly, I need entertainment. Hey! <laughs> Hello! This'll do. Hey, we're fine! I didn't rip your arm off. Oh my gosh, you're dramatic. We're fine. Can you relax? I need to talk to Holly. What are you talking about? I need to talk to Holly. Holly, you got a minute? Please. Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! <sighs> I heard you had kind of a strange morning. Who are you? It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. I don't know who he is. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, Jack? my dear, how are you? What, like Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk- bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly. You. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Please. All right, just give us a second first. Why? I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this oh morning. Oh my gosh. It was a fable, right? This is not the time. Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. How would he know? He said it looked like Snow White. What? What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Oh, Crane released Tweedledee him. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duty. I gave him a drink! Big B, come on. I gave him you a can't smoke! can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! Please. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Come on. Cat got your nerve? They're upset at us. What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of oh, what? Man. Of trouble, Jack. Jack, I'm sick please. And tired of trouble. You're instigating so anymore. much, man. Jack. Enough. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. It's about Holly's to be three. Sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? Let him talk. And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? Let's be gentle. No reason to be sister. mean. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. Woman we found in the river. Oh, I feel so bad. Who was it? You know who it was. Oh, that's awful. Holly, I'm sorry. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you Jack, say one please. more fucking thing, just one more thing. He's so smug. I don't like him. Yeah, bye. Please. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, oh. is all safe and sound. It's not her fault. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? It's not Where her are you when we ever fucking need you? I'm sorry. If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been. <sighs> not. This is not the time. Give her some room. I'm sorry. Just say sorry. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no reason to ask I'm questions sorry right you now. Found your sister this way, and I, I wish this had ended up better. No reason to be insensitive. They are going to resent Snow. Where's she going? Oh. Oh, I feel so bad! Snow, you are not the person that she wants to talk to at Holly, all. Get the fuck out of my bar. Exactly. I just want It should have been you. It should have <sighs> been you and it wasn't. That's awful. That's awful to say. 
Snow, I don't know what you're thinking. You openly admitted to rejecting them, and then you want to be the person who gives them a comforting... We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. Well, that was nice. That was very I, nice. I didn't know she still No reason to praise Snow. Oh, be silent. was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? We're not doing anything. We're fine. I'm a good boy. Yeah, there's no reason to praise freaking good job, Snow. What? Why does she need more praise? She's already not dead, and that's enough. She does <laughs> these people don't need to be hear me praising Snow White. Ooh, new book of fables. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Oh. She was still your sister. How much you talking? She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Who might know more? Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? Yeah. I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. Where she worked? She was hooking. Oh. To pay down debt. Yikes. It ain't me up to see her that way. That's awful. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. That's awful. Putting in pie, Holly, fees, it's okay. Georgie. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Georgie. Hmm. Not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know? Whoa. What was that? We can just go talk to him. Yeah. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Thank you, Holly. Is there anything else? Anything we can do? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? To no. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Snow, it is very hypocritical for you is to say she? that. Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. How? Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Yeah. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Yeah, I could do that. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? Yeah, there's no reason for her not to have the body. I mean, we already kind of looked through it. I didn't see her panties, sadly, but we that looked clock? through it. I'll go down there now, see what I can find the out. Pudding the pudding and pie! You were good with her. I'm impressed. <laughs> I've been a good really? boy! Thanks. It just made everything easier. I mean, I'm happy, but I've been such a good boy that there was no, hey, we don't talk about that. There, I haven't done anything like him, like D see, saying that he was being tortured. Ridiculous, ridiculous lies and slander. I gave him a drink. I gave him a smoke. He was living good life with me. It was Bluebeard. It's fine. We're just going to continue our good boy lifestyle. Our golden retriever good boy style. You know, we're no big bad wolf. We're a good boy golden retriever. Oh, I guess this is it. Yep, the pudding in pie, deli, grocery, soda, beer. Who are you? Hello. Oh, yep, everybody smokes. Lovely. This place must smell wonderful. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. No. You're always welcome, of course. Because I am a good boy. Is it business or pleasure? Business. I've got or some both. questions. I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Yes. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Her voice is so soothing. Read me a bedtime story, please. That is a voice I can I sleep- I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he alone? Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. 
Discretion is our guarantee. Oh, that's the whole thing with... Yeah, because they, cause they have the girls who say my lips are sealed, right? She's wearing the ribbon with the lips on it. She just talked about discretion. There mu and there was, what did it say? The mirror said that there was some sort of, like, magic tied Welcome to it? Welcome to the pudding and pie. Oh, thank you. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Do you know Lily? Excuse Your really? pleasure is our pleasure. Can you stop? Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? Did you know Lily? She worked here. <gasps> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Yep, there's that spell again. Oh, nice music. Wow! Wow! Cover everyone's eyes! Do not look! What do you think you're doing? Georgie, no, don't you need to insult? Take a shit. <laughs> Who's Jeez. gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I'll take it from here, I guess. I can take it from here. Good luck. Oh man! All right. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, oh. Oh. You never smile. I want to look around. Can I look around? Whoa. How many times do I have to say? Dude, it? that guy is the muscle. Hello. Oh, it's you. We're closed. I know. I need to talk to. Whoa! Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Oh my goodness. For fuck's sake. You. Stay right there. Leave her alone. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few We're not finished. I got a few questions. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. Mm. Hello? Are we gonna what talk? What do you want then? Yeah. You here for a little taste? Ew. Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Ew! No, thank you. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. What? You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. What? Tell me. I'm not here for that. You prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? Woo! I'm not here Woo! for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Stopped in to beat your Jesus face, but I'm trying to be so good. Corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. He's so weird. Are you on cocaine? What are we doing? Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Language. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? When did you hear? Who told you? Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. <laughs> no. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? That's messed up. Who gives a toss? People get Is it illegal? I don't think, think it's illegal yet. Watching. It's Their illegal. We'll say that. No, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't no, like it. No, I don't it. like that. That's not... The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Uh, you're spitting in your and own place? We're all place? just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Show him Snow's photo. Show him Snow's photo. Take a look at this. Get that out of my face. No. This was part of the glamour oh. we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Okay, I thought it was going to show the headless photo. Wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, <gasps> I'm anyway, a good boy! Now what to do with me. Oh, man. Go on, then. We're testing him. Oh, they're testing my Bigby boy. Woo! Okay, I'm not done here. Turn it off! You gonna hit me? No. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? I'll shut this Tell place down. Tell me what I wanna know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Uh <laughs> oh no, fuck! Get wrecked. Yo! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Gosh, what a lovely person. Fucking shit. 
You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little nest. I didn't do anything. You actually busted it yourself. Fuck's sake. Dude, he's so buff. Fuck off, Hans. Hans? Hansel and Gretel? Where's Gretel? Hans, is it? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. That's so messed up, though. Why not look it up? What's that? Hey. Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Thank Show. you, Hans. There is no book. Oh, you lying. you, Hans. We need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Yeah, no thank you. Hey, that's my personal property. Tell me about the book. Come on. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. I don't want to... Oh, okay. Well. I guess I have to intimidate a little. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Come on. Hey, now. I want that book. Come on, Georgie. Don't be a pain. I don't want to break your stuff. I'm trying to be a good boy. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Again? What's wrong with Hans? He's normal. Don't even think about it. You're just leading me. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Uh-uh. I- you're lying. Do not touch that. Wreck it. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh. <laughs> See, we don't have to wreck anything. It works out in our favor. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I would not. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Well, then bust it Sheriff, open. Will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. No, open the... I don't want to hurt him. There's no point. Open the, the thing. Give it to me. <laughs> You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. Fucking get Break it. his pinky finger. I'll allow that. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Man, come on. I don't want to smack. You could literally tear up this Two place, but there's no reason dead. to. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'm threatening you. That's all I'm going to do, though. You might want to stand back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Georgie won't forget that. I did nothing wrong, so maybe that's a good thing? Thank you. I would have just, I mean, if we're strong enough, we could have just pulled it off the floor. We didn't have to do all this. Bloody come on, then. Oh, look at that. There's a mermaid on the wall. Very pretty. Rick. What did I do? <laughs> well, I guess I threatened him. Your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. <gasps> Dollar bills? Wait, no, I want the money. Mm -hmm. Hey, okay. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Hmm. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain uh -uh. clients. But let's be clear on you something. You also give them a million the girls fees. make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. Can we keep the book? I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Yeah, you're great. Stand up, now, guy. I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, they're not going to do anything about that, though. Sorry. 
I literally touched nothing. Look at this. Everywhere is so Hello? nice. Business office. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they're gonna answer. Let's take a looky. <gasps> Money. Oh, was that the money yeah, that... Right. 58? Was that the money amount that we gave Faith? Take money. Put the money back. Mm. Take the money. I don't care. It's 58 dollars. Roll of bills. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Crane's so going to do something about it. Um, I don't think we need that money. I will take our old money. Because she I is Don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Okay, great. Lovely. Let me... <laughs> I saw the money on my hand! I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing. That's really funny, though. No, I don't want Where to. Where is Hans? Where did he go? I kind of want to talk to him. Oh, yeah, I can actually... Walk a little faster. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, there was something on the stage. Uh, oh. I guess I can't go to the stage. All right. All right. This place sucks. Got it. <laughs> I got it. I'm leaving. Can I talk to him again? He's probably going to tell me it's... Georgie. Yeah. Love you. All right. Thank you. Bye. He's not going to do anything, by the way. But I got my money. Mm. George. What? George, you're in this? <gasps> Faith, all of her stuff. So we got Johnny. Also, there are, I guess, like, guys in here. Gwen, Madison, Johnny, Jade, Alexis, Narissa. These all have to be fake names, of course. Lily, Faith. Maybe not Lily and Faith, though. Hmm. All right, what's on the floor? Cosmetics, quarters. I'll take the quarters. <laughs> There's a freaking glitter. dollar on my hand. We're just gonna openly, constantly show that <laughs> that we took his money. Oh, that looks so weird. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk <laughs> before you go over to the apartment. Lily, looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Oh. Wait, so Faith saw... Well, maybe? Oh, someone broke her chest. If Lily, if Faith saw one of Lily's clients, maybe that client was meant to try to kill Lily, but ended up killing Faith and then had to double back and kill Lily. Cause that, that could be a possibility, right? Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Okay, so someone really wanted to get into Locks her stuff. Busted open. I bet there's nothing in it now. There's nothing in her cubby. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. They doubled back to go and actually get the person they wanted to kill. Excuse me. Hey, girl! I heard you out there. I did nothing. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. I'm here now. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are you waiting for? What are these phone numbers? Oh, there's like a calendar in the back too. You're trying to place me. minimal eye contact, suicide prevention. They Jeez. used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. What do they call you now? Does that help? Are the legs glamour? You have legs. Not a glamour. No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Oh, because she made a deal. I don't know if it's like Disney type deal. Obviously My not. My name is Narissa. She definitely made a deal for the well, lights. Narissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Yeah, she's got a ribbon around her neck. She's under the spell. <sighs> Lily last Did night? Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she All she's going to say is her lips are sealed. With. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Yeah. Discretion is our guarantee. Yep. It's how things work here. People keep saying that. You disappoint me so keep mean. Using those phrases. What does it mean? 
This is what <laughs> I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Dollar. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. The lips are sealed, bro. Pay attention. These lips. She can't. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Oh. She's smart. She's trying to work around it. Okay. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. All right, let me go get steal the money from the, you know, the the other thing. Okay. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. <laughs> I'm going to keep this dollar for myself though. Wait here for a second. Oh. New book of fables unlocked. Wait, I'm not done. No. Oh. <laughs> I hate it. 204. Not 207. You'll think of something. She's smart. The oh gosh, it looks arms. so bad. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. So he owns the hotel as well? He owns the ho or he partners with the hotel? Gosh, man, this is all so confusing. I still got the dollar bill on my hand. <laughs> this is a very, hmm, this dollar is so crisp. What? Whoa! Woo! Okay. Oh, maybe he messes around with Monday workers too, and not just um, fable, you know, prostitutes. Lovely, very loud, very lovely. Okay, progress. Oh, hello. <gasps> the dollar bill is gone. Praise be. Praise be, someone took my money! Smile, you're on camera. I saw that. Uh, I wanna look around. Yeah. She'll kill ya. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I know. This stuff will kill me. But you continue smoking, Big B. It's great. Uh, what's this? Phone? John Wiss? They should probably repair that. Eh, maybe. Uh, what's this? The rooms are anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's floor missing. What? Did you see that? There was absolute floor missing. DPRK live concert. Mm, very nice. Hello. Ring a ding ding. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? I'm sorry. Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. <gasps> okay, that's I know not bad. I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind. No, you should knew. tell him. You should really tell Beast. That is He's not going to work well. You. Big B, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. That's not my problem. So, what are you doing here? I have a room. Oh, you have a key. Yes. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the pudding. She also pie. sounds like uh, Lily, Clementine. She uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh yes, the the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Oh, did you know Faith? Did you know Tweedledee? Uh, ever see Lily with anyone? Have you seen snow here? Did you see? F oh, there's so many questions. Did you know Faith? Ah, oh, I don't. Did you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Yikes. Uh, oh, I can keep asking her all these questions. Thank you. Ever see Lily? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but 
Nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Did you know Tweedledee? I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He keeps saying he knows he you. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? Dang. It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Aww. Gosh, man, we really are awful. Have you seen Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Mm. Oh, lovely. Big B, Thanks. ever do that outside or in a trash can? It'd be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Why? I have a key. Five minutes, please. What? We'll see. Beauty. Why do we keep saying her name? To act like I'm trying to kick you out. What? That won't be hard. <sighs> okay, so we need to go to 207. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Okay, listen. All right, all right. Listen, I gotta stop here. All right, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna take a look at the Book of Fables real quick because we did get a couple of new ones and I'm excited to read. But that will be a perfect stopping point for next time. I have something on my mic. I hope you didn't hear that. All right. Oh, we got a few. We got what six? We got six of them. So who is this guy? Jack Horner, harmless trickster. Jack is always up to something, but he's not nearly as smart as he think he thinks he is. His plan to get rich quick often backfire, but his confidence never wavers. He thinks he's the most important person in Fable Town. Everyone knows him as mostly a harmless smart. <laughs> okay, so I think he is Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, maybe? Because that's what they did, right? They, like, he... What, did, what was it? What was it? He sold, the, they traded the cow for some green beans, or magic beans, because he thought that that would do well, and then the golden goose with the golden egg. Yeah, that's definitely Jack and the Beanstalk guy. Lily. That's an awful photo of Lily. We couldn't get a live photo of her. Lily and her sister, Holly, grew up in the homelands together, but had a falling out shortly after moving to the mundane world. Aimless and increasingly destitute, Lily turned to prostitution, and now she's the second victim in an ongoing murder investigation. Poor Lily, man. She was probably the main uh, target, though. The Troll Cross. A troll cross is an amulet made of iron that was foolishly thought to protect the wearer from trolls. <laughs> Lily acquired hers while wandering through the wilderness searching for something to eat. She came across a human, but before she could devour him, he held the troll cross out and shouted, Back! Back, you troll! After enjoying her tasty snack, Lily plucked the cross from her the dead man's hands. After the exodus, she wore the troll cross constantly as a reminder of better days. <laughs> wow, better days! This guy, I do not like. His tattoos are interesting, but I don't like him at all. Georgie Porgy, the pimp. Georgie runs the pudding and pie and a strip, uh, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He has tried just about everything there is to try in pursuit of worldly pleasures, but nothing of it satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Well, yeah, you're enjoying it because you have so many fees that you freaking put on the people. Clever Hans, bouncer, janitor, and handyman. Man, what a job. He looks so sad. Clever Hans always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife? What? Unsurprisingly, she left him, and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. 
he hopes to dance on stage one day. <laughs> but for now, he's con he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Dang! Hans wants to get down with it? Okay. Oh, Nerissa, she's so pretty. Nerissa, the little mermaid. That's so weird. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the little mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hope of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. What? She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. Was that the cost? That she gets her legs, but it's constantly painful? That's awful. That's so sad. And then we got... A couple more. Oh yeah, we still got a few of chapter three to go. But sweet. What did we miss? We missed something, apparently. Maybe we missed something between the investigation. Mm, when we were looking at our body. I have no idea. But, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And um, I'm actually going to be cranking out a couple more episodes today too. <laughs> to get ready for um, the future, the next week. Because next week I'm going on a trip. So cool. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you have a blessed day guys. Bye!